Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step configuration tutorial of the Proteos Echometer. We begin by plugging the USB cable of the monitor into the power adapter, which we then plug into the outlet. In the first and second steps of the Echo Monitor setup, we will set the time in hours and minutes. Adjust the current number with the up and down buttons and press enter to confirm. In step 3, we select our type of tank that we will install the echo meter on. While tank A is a rectangular or cylindrical tank with height H, tanks B and C are ellipsoid or rectangular tanks with rounded edges with height H and width W. After this, we set the maximum tank volume, which is either written on your tank or on your tank manual. Adjust by using the up and down arrows and press enter to save. In steps 5 and 6, we set the tank height and width in centimeters depending on our type of tank. Again, adjust by using the up and down arrows and press enter to confirm. Step 6, that is setting the width, is specific to tank types B and C only. In step 7, we set the oil price per liter for the estimation of your approximate expenditure in your local currency. Make sure to check the current price with your supplier. Next, we can use the up and down arrows to select whether the low level audible alert is to be turned on or not. In this case, we're turning it off. Before we finish the setup, we have the option to clear all our parameters and restart the process. If you would like to finish, press the button setup on the right to start the calculation. We will now pair the configured monitor with our rocket sensor. If you see this screen, your echo monitor now is in learning mode. Clip the screw hole on the left side of your echo meter into the alignment pin on the right side of the monitor's base. The bars on the monitor will flash and begin to increase, rising from 1 to 10 bars. Hold the echo meter in place until all bars are flashing and the monitor makes an audible beep. You have now successfully paired your monitor with your sensor and can start measuring. Immediately after pairing, the echo meter has activated the fast mode for 10 minutes, meaning that it's measuring a value every second. Choose a target and move the sensor toward and away from the target, and watch the bars on the monitor change in accordance to this movement. Make sure to install your sensor on the tank while the fast mode is activated, so within the first 10 minutes after pairing, as long as the red dot on the monitor is blinking every second. If you have any questions, make sure to check the installation and operation guide provided with the echo meter. For further questions, visit esensorix.com slash FAQ. Congratulations! You have now finished the configuration of the echo meter. For more information, visit www.esensorix.io.